What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Cardio confessions coming off the biggest night of my life next to, you know, the whole childbirth, wedding, all that bullshit. Coming off of my debut on national TV on American Grit, John Cena's American Grit. And I'll tell you what, man, seeing yourself on the big screen, and then I rewatched it last night with my family in my house where I can actually hear it, there's not noise from a bar around you. And holy shit, I'm so excited about watching it. Not only is it a good show, like I'm in a show that I actually watch, but I love the way my character is developing. Like, we don't know how that shit's gonna be edited. So hold on, I forgot my shape. That's chilly, that's fucking grit right there. We don't know how we're gonna look on TV. As you saw, Chris came off as a big douche. I like Chris, we become really good friends after the show. He saw the cameraman, he went, he went full ham on that Hollywood shit, you know? He got all crazy, he was the heel of the show, but what I say to people, don't hate on my man Chris Kruger. I'll put his info down below to follow his ass on Twitter. Chris is a good dude. Um, but it's like hating a wrestler when he's the heel, you know? Like, like hating Stone Cold when he was the bad guy, or The Rock when he was the bad guy. At the end of the day, it's TV. We're all playing a role. It's reality show, yet we're all actors. So if you see me do some stupid shit or get in some fights, you see whatever, realize you take 16 elite, well, I know people say, you're not an elite athlete. I'm a fucking pro bodybuilder. NABA, NPC, or FBB, it doesn't matter. I'm fucking elite, okay? I'm elite, at least for what the show considered elite, so fuck it, okay? Take 16 elite individuals, put them in a house together, make them live together in small quarters, and then have them compete amongst, with, and against each other in five and a half to seven hour grueling Navy SEAL style events. <laughs> You're gonna get some fucking drama. So it is what it is, but wow, what an amazing show. And I got to view it with my friend Touchdown Tony Simmons from the show. Big Hayes from the show who was on my team, Team Rourke, and of course the Twins. And I want to say thank you to the Twins for fucking coming out and making that shit happen. Good friends, a lot of people are like, how'd that happen? Like, duh, duh, duh. did you pay them? I know the Twins are the shit on YouTube, but we've been friends for about four years now. We, we, we do business together, we talk together. I mean, we're friends. If there's a question about business or anything, both of us will call each other, you know, they're boys, so just because we both have YouTube channels doesn't mean we can't be friends. So they're like, first they saw the gym, they're like, dude, we gotta come train at your gym. I said, hey, I'd be honored to have you out for the premiere of the TV show that I'm on, and it was on, but talk about some funny motherfuckers. Had some good times, sat back, did the donut challenge, which will be up on this channel. I mean, just an amazing, amazing time. Want to give props, Had just, just big, big love to Touchdown Tony, he flew back from Poland where he coaches football to spend the time with me and Hayes out in Loveland, Ohio at Tiger Fitness headquarters. Um, we were on Fox 19 News, I was in the Tribune, the Herald, all those shits, I was on the Man Cow Show, MTS Lions, Wayne and Butch, you crazy loud motherfuckers. Sometimes I just wanna fucking throw you through a wall, you little motherfuckers. Now, except for Butch, he's pretty big. I don't think I can trouble. I can throw the shit out of Wayne. But I love these guys. They're my fucking brothers. <laughs> um, they make me seem quiet and calm. But well, you guys gotta follow them. I'll put their info down below. That's the MTS Lions. Wayne and Butch, some crazy motherfuckers from Zimbabwe. Um, other than that, this shirt, been asking where this is. The twins are wearing it. This is full sublimation. I don't know if we can do this again, it's expensive. But this is built, this actually died into the fabric. It will never fade. We should have these up for sale this week. So it should be up for sale this week, ready to rock. This material is amazing. It's light. It feels like you're not wearing anything at all. So, uh, yeah, we're getting a lot of questions. I just made these for my boys, you know? I'm like, dude, we have our own print shop. It's open. Rivas is up and running. This is a Rivas shirt. So I just made it for my boys. But being that people want them, We'll put that shit up there at an affordable price. Cause really I'm just excited to have an American flag on an M with machine grit right there on the back. So what's going on? Got American grit, 
big up some funny motherfuckers of twins. And I don't think you guys realize how fucking hard that first evolution was, man. That first evolution was fucked up the ruck up. You only saw minutes of it. It was hours. It was 5.2 miles with six obstacles. They only showed two. Man, that shit was fucking hard. They should have shown me and Tony nearly fucking dying. But I love how they're like, we're walking. My, my quote, we're walking and we're walking and we're walking. And I'm a bodybuilder. We're not meant for that endurance shit. But guess what, haters and trolls? I finished that shit. I didn't hold my team back. And I didn't say I couldn't do shit. My hamstring cramped up going downhill for a mile. I didn't give a fuck. I went 120 the whole way. I wasn't about to be a fucking bitch on TV. I would rather fucking die and then pull the hamstring out of my goddamn throat than fucking quit on fucking national TV. But if we were doing that outside my house right now, and you're like, hey Mark, walk 5.2 miles with a log, but I fucking quit. I ain't got any grit. You put some TV cameras on my ass, I'll do just about anything. So I really like how my character's developing. That can change at any time. We had a couple of clashes in the house that might be shown that might change your opinion on me. But again, dude, we on TV and shit happens. Next week, next week we will be at Boynton Beach Barbell Club at 3 p.m. on Thursday, 3 to 4.30. It's $10 to get into that bitch because that's what the gym charges for a day pass if you're not a member. But I will be there and Ronnie Coleman will be there. Not sure if Mike Rashid will be at that one, but at 8 p.m., Boynton Beach, Buffalo, Wild Wings. I'll be there, Mike Rashid will be there, Ronnie Coleman, my man Derek Shioka from Ronnie Coleman's signature series to celebrate the second, second episode of American Grit. Watch that shit, have a good time, and I'm gonna buy some motherfucking chicken wings for my boys. <sighs> oh man, so we have that party going on. RSVP, I'll put the link down below. Episode two, episode three will be filmed. I will be watching it at Alexander's in Elgin, Illinois. Party starts at 7.30 p.m. Um, that's gonna be epic. That's on the 28th, but the 21st, Thursday the 21st, Ronnie Coleman, Mike Rasheed, myself, and that weekend, this weekend, I'll be at the Iron Addicts gym opening in Miami, Florida, Mike, CT, and all those motherfuckers. Rich homie Sean will be there as well. Uprising, my show, Natural Bodybuilding Show. June 25th, we need y'all to sign up. Honestly, right now, I have a lot of people in it, but to do the shit I wanna do, it's not enough, I'll call the fucking show off. So if you plan on competing in the show, fucking register online now. Well, I'm just dixing the show. Not like, fuck it. I can't have a show with less than 100 something people. It's not worth my time. It's not worth your time to compete in a shitty show. You got people winning pro cards in shows with fucking 20 people. Fuck that. If you're going to pro card on my dime, you're going to earn that shit. So, if you're going to compete at Uprising on June 25th, go to the site right now, ifpauprising.com. Let us know you're in it. Sign up or email my wife, katie at tigerfitness.com. K-A-T-I-E at TigerFitness.com. Sign up for that bitch. All right? Other than that, training's great. You saw me on the Twins video. You see me on our video next week. Busting out 405 for eight reps on Fox News. What? That's right. I busted out a PR in front of news cameras. Fucking squats are getting better. The fascial stretching I'm doing with uh, Dave's helped me out a lot. And I just feel healthy as fuck. Cardio's on point, it's warm outside. So last night, not only did I warm up my daughter's soccer team before the game, but also trained my ass off to 20 minutes of step mill, and also rode bikes for 40 minutes with my daughter last night. Hard bicycle riding, we was going fast. So, ha, Battle Frog, we are the official supplement sponsor of Battle Frog. I plan on doing at least three of them bitches this year. Problem is Chicago. And what I'm supposed to do, Kimmy has a soccer tournament that day. I'm waiting to see the schedule. If the game is after 2 p.m., I can do it. <clears throat> if it's before 2 p.m., we can't do it. I'll take Kimmy straight from a five mile run, put her ass in a soccer game, why? Because she's Kimmy. She doesn't need a fucking rest. 
She goes 120. She goes hard in the motherfucking paint. Yesterday, by the way, her first game of the season, scores the team's first goal, scores another goal. Her team ended up tying three to three and played an excellent quarter of the game in goal. Post that shit online, you European fuck nuts. Oh, oh, Americans don't know. There's no quarters in soccer. No, not an official quarter, you jackass. She came in with half of the second half left. I didn't know how to define everything. You dumbass fucking metric system using motherfuckers. Stop trying to act like we don't know soccer. Here's why we call it soccer. You wanna know? You wanna know why we call it soccer? Cause our country is so awesome. We're like, fuck the metric system. We ain't gonna use that shit. We're gonna confuse the rest of the fucking world. And we're gonna use this fucking stupid system. Instead of having something this big, have an inch measurement that makes no sense when doing anything to do with engineering. I'm gonna tell you what else we're gonna do. We're gonna take a game that has really nothing to do with a fucking foot. And we're gonna, and we're gonna call it football, even though there's already a very popular game in the world that actually uses your feet. That's called football as well. You know why we're doing that? Cause we're fucking America. And we do what the fuck we wanna do. Hodge Twins, I stole that shit. But I paid for lunch yesterday, so fuck you. Guys, I think that's it. I've rambled on long enough, my balls are sweating, and frankly, I'm at 15 minutes, and I'm fucking hangry. All right, guys, take a look for more epic content on this site, to, on this fucking YouTube channel. Watch everything we do. Follow my Instagram, at Mark Lowbiner. Snapchat, at Mark Lowbiner. Facebook, at Mark Lowbiner. What the fuck else do I do? Pornhub, at Shredded Dick. It's not a game.